I, the, I, I was about to complain that these guys are they are the least quirky detectives in mm. the history of detective fiction. And I was about to sort of complain, they're just sort of two bland white guys. And then I remembered about our podcast, James. <laughs> and so I thought, I'm, I'm going to play down the angle of um, why are we interested in these indistinguishable duffers? But um, I, at the start, yeah. I was thinking, like, I was hoping this one, like one of them's got a yo-yo or just a quirk, just something. Like I think the whole yeah. episode would be better if Jones had been trying to learn the yo-yo throughout as a little humorous <laughs> subplot. It, they just, they don't bother with quirk. Every other detective's got a quirk. And Neil Dudgeon's quirk is that he is a professional police officer who tries <laughs> to solve crimes. That's he his only, that's it. He can, he can he, fence. Can he? We he, learn. He, he, he can handle well. a sword a little, yeah. Um, <laughs> he can get backed into a corner. He overestimates his fencing ability. That is true. Yeah, he can, yeah, he can brag about fencing. I thought for a bit his dog was called Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a quirk, but it's not. It's psychsy. Psych, right. Uh, I mean, you're really don't... stretching the word quirk there. It's yeah. um. <laughs> so you called your dog what? What? He does mention it and do yoga, and he does do yoga in a future episode. Men do yoga. Oh, so he, like his character arc is learning to do yoga. Is that his? Everyone else has got yeah. a drinking problem or like P PTSD yeah. from the war. Or like his thing is bit not that flexible. Just trying to get a into, mm. into a downward dog. Not very bendy Sorry, with not, my sexy not, dog. Not, not, not his sexy dog, obviously. A completely different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was an un unintentional slur on on John Barnaby. 